Hi, what's up guys, it's the Pace and in this video I'm gonna show you how to get Android O update in Mi A1. Now before proceed, if you haven't subscribed us, subscribe us and hit the bell icon to get notification about all of future videos. Now if you didn't that, let's get started. So guys, first of all you have to go to this page, you can get all the links from the description of video. So guys, first of all you have to download the ADV drivers on your PC, just scroll down the page, you will get the link of the ADV drivers and just open this link and it will open a new page and here you have to find a link for drivers and just download it and install it on your device. I already downloaded it and installed it on my device. But I am going to show you again, you just have to double click on adb setup file and it will open a command window. Here you have to type y, y, y and y means yes and for no and you just have to simply type y and press enter. It will start installing the adb drivers on your PC. And once it's done, now go to again the same page. So guys here you will get many versions of the ROM, I am going to install latest one. I also recommended you to use the always latest version of the ROM. So guys, in your case, it might be different. I'm going to download this one. And in my case, this version is the latest one, which is 7.12.22. And in your case, it might be different. So download your own latest version and just download it and extract it anywhere on your computer. So guys before proceed I recommended you to make a backup of your data because uh, in this case you might be lost your data so just make a backup of your data. So guys once you make a backup of your data then go to settings then go to award phone then tap 7 times on the build number you will get a developer option in settings menu. Now go to developer mode and enable OEM unlocking. Now after that just power off your mobile and press power button and volume down button together to open a fast boot mode in your mobile. Now once your fast boot mode is open, now connect your mobile with your computer by USB type C cable and go to your extracted ROM folder and inside the ROM folder you will get all this file. In future, the developer may change the file name, but don't worry about that, you just have to find a file name bit.bat extension. Now before proceed, here you have to open command window. You can open command window by just typing cmd at the navigation menu. Now here you have to unlock the bootloader of your device. Now if you already unlock your device, then you don't need to follow this step again. You just have to type the fastboot OEM unlock and it will unlock your device. Now if you want to check your device is unlocked or not then just type fastboot OEM device dash info. It will tell you the device is unlocked or not. If it already unlocked then just skip this step. Now once you're done with that, now go to same folder again and run the .bat file. It will ask you to connect your mobile in fastboot mode and our mobile is already connected so just hit enter button. Here you will get three options to install ROM on your device. The first one says that it will install ROM without wiping your data and also without relocking your bootloader. The second one says that it will install the ROM by wiping your data and also without relocking the bootloader. The third one will wipe your data and also relock your bootloader. I recommend you to go with the second option because the first and third one may cause problem in your device such as force closing or system may crash. So guys go with the second option and make sure that uh, you already back up your data because this will uh, wipe all your data. Now wait up to 20 minutes, it will place all the files one by one on your device and your device will automatically restart once it finished. Here 
Here are the first major changes that I see that you will get the notification dot feature. The notification bar is completely changed and the setting menu is also get compressed. So guys it's running on the official android oh, but it's not a stable one. The stable one will come very soon. So guys I haven't checked all the things in this room. Later I will make a review video on that. Later I will make all the videos on the MI1. So guys I will make a complete playlist about MI1 such as how to install stock ROM in this, how to install custom ROM and all those videos. So, so guys that's it for this video. Like the video, hit the notification bell to get notification about all of future videos. And if you are watching first time our channel, then do subscribe. It's motivate me to make a videos for you. So guys, it's the pair signing out. Meet you soon and next video.